All right, in this video, we're going to show you which tabs you need to do and what you need to do on each tab. So I'm over here, I'm logged into Achieve 3000, and I select this article. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look at these five tabs. So the first five, those are the only ones I'm concerned with. The first one, you're just going to read the question. You're going to say if you agree or disagree. It's always going to be, it's always going to ask you to make a decision and then explain why. The next tab you're going to do is the article, and the article, you need to read it. So you'll read the article. If you know what the words are, click on the little links, explain the, uh, the definitions. Some help over here, maps, extra stuff if you want. You don't have to, though. But you basically need to read this article. Then you're going to go to the activity tab, and the activity tab is the one that's really important. So this tab, it's going to ask you a series of questions. You'll notice here it's 1 through 8. Some of them are 1 through 5, 1 through 10, but they're always like 10 or less. And basically, you've got to score a 70% or higher, or this quiz doesn't count. It'll let you take it twice, but if on the second time you don't get a 70 or higher, this, this article does not count towards your two articles a week. So if you need to, you can refer back to the article. It opens this window, and uh, you can reread it while you're answering this question. And um, if the window didn't show up in the screencast, it's because I've only chosen the one window, but there's a window that pops up right here. Close that. Um, now, um, you can use that to uh, to read the article. It's okay because the, if you reread it, it's helping you with your uh, reading comprehension. It's helping you with your reading, and it's going to get you the right answer. So don't just guess. Make sure you get the right answer so you get your 70%. So then after you do all of them, you'll take on to the after the reading the poll quiz, and it's just basically asking you if you still agree or disagree from the beginning. So it's basically the same question going to see if you agree or disagree after reading the article. Lastly, and uh, this is the really important one, so activity and thought question are the two important ones. Whatever you, it tells you to do right here, you're going to ignore it. If it tells you to write one paragraph, two paragraphs, 12 paragraphs, whatever it tells you to do, always ignore it. What you're going to do is you're going to come down here, and you need to think about writing one paragraph. So you're going to write, and you have to think about three specific things. First of all, in the first sentence, you're going to refer to an argument or a position or a side that was referenced in the article that you just read. It should show, it almost always shows, both sides. Good, bad, right, wrong, up, down, left, right, healthy, unhealthy, whatever it is. And then you pick a side. You basically take a position. So in the first sentence that you write, you need to explain to me what your position is. Do you agree or disagree with some topic that was discussed in the article? Your second sentence needs to cite a reference in the article for some piece of evidence that supports your position. So when you look at the article, you want to find some tidbit in there. The scientist said this, or some statistic, or an interviewee said this. You want to pick out some piece of evidence in the article that you just read that basically supports your position that you're taking. And the third and final sentence that you need to write needs to explain why why you feel that evidence that you found does support your position. So instead of writing all those paragraphs, one well-written article, tell us what your position is, tell us a piece of evidence in the article that supports your position, and then tell us why that evidence supports your position. And so once you're done with that, you're done, and you need to go and find another article. So go to search or go back to the beginning, but you need to do two articles, all five tabs. And if you don't get them done, it's homework.